all. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to share this uh, presentation with you. And it's also a great pleasure, pleasure for me to participate to this webinar, to meet people from all over the world in this particular period for all of us. So uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Gianluca Franceschini from uh, Policlinico Gemelli of Rome. And uh, today I will present uh, our recent study on an innovative surgical technique, the nipperspheric mastectomy combined with endoscopic immediate prosthetic breast reconstruction via single axis axillary incision. In the last 30 years, the surgical treatment of breast cancer has undergone a constant evolution. The aim of the surgeon is to perform surgical approaches, trying to preserve the natural shape of the breast as much as possible. Conservative surgery associated with radiotherapy is considered today the gold standard in the local treatment of breast cancer, with about 75-80% of cases. But mastectomies are still indicated in 20-25% of cases. Indication to mastectomies are a multicentric breast cancer, diffuse malignant calcifications, extensive tumors, and impossibility to perform radiotherapy. Therefore, mastectomy remains a valid surgical alternative in selected cases and is usually associated with immediate breast reconstructive procedures. When a breast conservative surgery cannot guarantee adequate local control and good cosmetic results, a total mastectomy should be selected. Various surgical techniques can be adopted when planning a total mastectomy, but in the last years, new procedures called the conservative mastectomies are emerged. The skin sparing mastectomy is indicated when the nipple areola complex is involved and consists of the removal of the entire mammary gland, including the nipple areola complex, while preserving the skin envelope. The nipple sparing mastectomy is indicated with the nipple when the nipple is not involved and consists of the removal of the entire mammary gland while preserving the skin envelope and the nipple areola complex. The nipple sparing mastectomy, as we know, is oncologically safe and permits to achieve high patient satisfaction and better aesthetic results than the other conventional mastectomies. The most commonly used incisions are lateral radial inframammary crease, periareolar with the lateral extension, and transareolar with the lateral extension. However, these conventional incisions are a suboptimal and imperfect cosmetic solution due to the visibility of the scars, the risk of nipple displacement, the risk of vascular damage to the neck and could represent an oncological, an oncological stigma for the entire life of the patient. The aim of our study is to show our innovative surgical technique, which allows to perform a safe nipposparing mastectomy, lymph node surgery, and endoscopic immediate prosthetic breast reconstruction using a single cosmetic axillary incision. Our patients were prospectively selected from January 2017 to September 2019. A total of 19 procedures were performed in 13 patients with breast cancer, including six patients with bilateral disease or BRCA mutation. This procedure was offered to select patients with cap A or B breasts with tumor with uh, uh, less than three centimeters in diameter, multicentric breast cancer, or cases of diffuse intraductal carcinoma. In addition, tumors had to be situated greater than one centimeter from the nipple areola complex. All patients had to have a body mass index of less than 30 and no associated comorbidities and be classified as low risk for anesthesia. The procedure was not performed in patients who were found to have oversized breasts, ptosis of grade major than two, or those who were obese or heavy smokers, and those who have undergone a previous radiation therapy. Those characteristics were considered as exclusion criteria due to their associated high risk of complications 
as skin flap necrosis and or infections. This is our approach, a multidisciplinary discussion is in a, in a dedicated surgery board was always performed for each patient. An algorithm shared with the plastic surgeon based on an amnestic morphological and functional criteria was used in order to choose the better reconstruction technique. The type of implant was chosen based on the shape and weight of the breast, the shape of the chest, but also the patient's wishes. A contralateral procedure was performed to achieve symmetry if necessary. Preoperative radiological study by ultrasound, mammography, and magnetic resonance was always performed. In order to evaluate reproducibility, feasibility, and safety, the following morbidity factors were recorded. Operation time from skin incision to the end of the skin suture, length of uh, hospitalization, and number of complications after surgery. Data were collected on clinical and histological features of cancer, nodal status, receipt of, of adjuvant chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and normal therapy for uh, future oncological outcome analysis. And the patients were followed during postoperative period by breast surgeons, plastic surgeons, and oncologists. Cosmetic results were classified by the surgeons based on the shape and volume of the reconstructed breast and the symmetry with the contralateral side. The breast cue was uh, used to quantify the patient satisfaction and also quality of life. These are some pictures of our uh, pilot case. It was a patient affected by a post chemotherapy neoplasia of the right breast lower quadrants. As you can see, we performed the nipple sparing mastectomy with axillary dissection and endoscopic immediate prosthetic reconstruction using one incision in the middle fold of the axilla of about six centimeters. I tried to show you a brief video. Let's see if I'm able to do in doing it. Here we go. Here I show you our surgical technique. This is a case of a cap A left breast patient with left anterior thoracic hypoplasia. She underwent a left breast lumpectomy via periarial scar five years before this surgery. We perform a six centimeter incision placed in the lowest axillary natural fold along the mid axillary line. After the incision, a skin flap is incrementally elevated from the glandular tissue and dissected of the breast by electrocautery. Here we can see our maneuver of blunt dissection. We use fingertips. At the end, we can see the entire gland removed. And here, after the mastectomy, we perform a systematic circumferential visual endoscopic exploration of the surgical cavity to exclude the presence of further microscopic residues of mammary gland. And uh, here you can see the, the pocket where we, where after this, a prosthetic reconstruction will be performed with the disoperative rigid endoscope that is used to, to dissect the entire submuscular fascial pocket and then a definitive implant is inserted. And this is the result, the result immedi immediately after surgery. Here we have our results. Mean age was uh, 43 years old, ranging from 35 to 53. The median tumor size was 1.7 centimeters, ranging from zero for a case of pathological complete response after neoadjuvant chemotherapy to three centimeters. Mastectomy weight specimen was on average 139 grams, ranging from 98 to 192 grams. The mean operation time was 340 minutes 
and the mean hospital stay was about 4.1 days. The, uh, these are our oncological results. So we had four cases of diffuse carcinoma in situ DCIS, nine cases of invasive carcinoma. Among these nine cases of invasive carcinoma, four cases were complete pathological response after neoadjuvant chemotherapy, two cases of were, were a stage one and three were stage two A. No stage three or four patients were enrolled in our study. A sentinel node biopsy was performed in all cases of therapeutic mastectomies and was positive in five cases. In these cases, an axillary dissection was performed from uh, the same axillary incision. Tumor-free margins were obtained in all cases and none of the patients had carcinoma or DCIS at the nipple areola complex specimen histology and they did not necessitate of the removal of the nipple areola complex. About complication, there was no major complication, including hematoma, seroma, skin necrosis, or uh, nipple areola complex full thickness necrosis, ne necrosis or infection in any case. Only one patient developed a partial and superficial nipple areola complex necrosis that was resolved conservatively using only some dressing changes. No second surgery was performed and no systemic complication were observed. At the medium follow-up of 10 months, no local regional recurrence occurred during follow-up. Only one patient with a triple negative breast cancer had a brain metastasis six months after surgery. The aesthetic evaluation was carried out using a breast Q type questionnaire based on shape and volume of the reconstructed breast, symmetry with the contralateral side, distance between breasts, and shape and color of the nipple areola complex. The reconstructive and aesthetic outcomes were graded as excellent in 10 cases and were and very good or good in the other three cases. The scar resulted well hidden in all cases and all patients were very satisfied with the post-operative scar appearance, wound length, and wound position. 12 patients did not report any negative impact on degree of self-esteem, body image perception, femininity, psychosocial and sexual well-being, and there was only one patient with depression that reported a negative change in social and sexual relationship. All patients said that uh, they would choose the same operation again. In conclusion, this technique, nipple spheric mastectomy combined with endoscopic immediate prosthetic breast reconstruction via axillary incision, is an innovative and uh, reproducible and feasible surgical procedure, a good alternative to the conventional techniques. In our study, it resulted oncologically safe, allowing a total breast removal. There was no evidence of major complications and no need of second surgery, and moreover, allowed to obtain better aesthetic results in the opinion of the patients, but also the surgeons. Then, this thanks to a well-hidden scar with a very minimum impact on quality of life to, of the patient. Here, I will show you some picture. Here we have... Uh, uh, an example of pre and post operation, immediate post operation. This is one month after surgery. And this is a result of one year after surgery. As you can see, there is a very, very little incision here in the axilla. And this is one of the best results that we have. This is a patient that, in which was performed a bilateral mastectomy the axillary incision, and this is, these are three pictures one year after surgery. Thank you so much for uh, your attention. Thank you, uh, Dr. Gianluca, for the wonderful presentation. So, uh, 
we still have time for the question answers any questions for dr Gale?